Well, the waters off of Clearwater Beach will be very busy this weekend. Sailors hoping to go to the Summer Olympic Games will be practicing for next week's World Championship Racing. News Channel 8's Peter Bernard joins us now live on Sand Key. This is pretty cool, Peter. Absolutely. Good evening, Jen and Josh. Sailors from 26 nations are here on Sand Key to participate in the racing that could send them to the Olympics. Take a look around me. This is a sea of boats. This is the staging area, and for here, they, from here, they sail out to the Gulf of Mexico. They're fast, they're sleek, and since the year 2000, these so-called 49er boats with a bat-like wing have competed in the Summer Olympics. And they'll be there again this summer on News Channel 8 as we bring you the Summer Games. Joseph Morris from Team USA explained the carbon fiber fiberglass bat shape. The point of them is to add leverage for the sailors, and we stand out on the side of the wing and clip into these things called trapezes. All of the boats are essentially the same, so it boils down to pure sailing skills. Events like this are usually held in much larger cities. We um, just came from Miami, so it's a bit of a difference from there, but um, it, it's pretty typical when we travel all over Europe and South America, you end up staying in smaller towns. These sailing masters are enjoying their stop in Clearwater. Being a smallest city, a smallest place, it's, it's quiet when uh, people are friendly. The Portuguese team is guaranteed an Olympic bid. They already qualified, but they'll still push hard to race fast. And it's the last, last world championship before the Olympics. Uh -huh. So it's quite serious. These sailors travel the world away from their families. It's what they do for a living. But before you think it's all fun and games, think again. It's a boat that it's probably the most uh, injury pr prone boat in the Olympic classes. So, um, you know, a lot of a lot of people have to take time off for certain injuries that occur while you're racing. Now, so far during yesterday's practice, there were 10 broken masts. You can see one of them there and five injuries. And I noticed some people limping off their boat today. Team USA guy told me he recently dislocated his shoulder. Ouch. Official practice starts Monday, and the official racing is Tuesday at noon. Jen? Wow, the most injury-prone boats in the class. That's just <laughs> amazing. W where can people go to see this, Peter? Pier 60, that's the place to be. And what's really neat is they've set up the racing course so the boats will come right by there. You'll be able to see them there. And probably also from the beach as well. So Pier 60, Clearwater Beach. Sounds awesome. Peter Bernard, live for us tonight. Thank you, Peter. Yeah.